The Tesla Cybertruck is a design masterpiece. Yes, you read that correctly. Despite the fact that the majority of critics and even fans give it a tepid response, and some fans even went so far as to suggest that the Cybertruck lacks imagination and displays some poor design, Cybertruck nevertheless stands out like a beast. Hello folks and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll discuss the latest details about Tesla's latest Cybertruck and what makes it the killer vehicle in the automobile industry. As the days are passing, we're looking at the fact that the Tesla Cybertruck is innovative in its own right, with the potential to dominate the electric truck industry for years to come. The first notable aspect of the Cybertruck is its distinct design. Despite all of the criticism and memes mocking its look, the Tesla Cybertruck is still a one-of-a-kind vehicle. The company's characteristic design is a sharp, pointed, and edgy style. Any firm that attempts to replicate its design will be pointed out and face harsh criticism. Tesla has made its design copy-proof, or almost hard to imitate, in this way. Cybertruck's next obvious advantage over its competitors is that it's made of the same stainless steel alloy as SpaceX rockets. That's correct. Future Tesla Cybertruck owners will likely be the only automobile owners who can brag that the same strong materials used to build spaceships are also used to build their trucks. We'll keep talking about how tough it is. The Cybertruck's exoskeleton is another mechanical engineering marvel. Intended for maximum safety and durability, the colorless outer shells may appear drab and monotonous, but they're built to last and will serve their customers for many years. The Cybertruck's exterior is made of the same metals used in SpaceX rockets, which are engineered to endure the extreme temperatures created by friction during an escape from the Earth's atmosphere. This provides travelers with more than adequate confidence in their safety. The exoskeleton is said to be comprised of ultra-hard, 30 times cold rolled stainless steel, which makes it bulletproof up to 9 millimeters. Tesla is also developing a solar roof option that will assist extend the Cybertruck's already astounding 500 mile range on a single charge. The solar roof was only a rumor until recently when the United States Patent and Trademark Office confirmed that Tesla had received a patent for an integrated rollable sheet for automobiles that can retract using the motor instead of the Cybertruck's rear wheel, similar to metal shutter outside stores. As a result, it may serve as both a solar roof and a cover for objects kept in the back cavity. These are outstanding specifications, and the tough and bulletproof construction makes it an ideal product for targeting security-related buyers, and the plan appears to be succeeding. According to a statistical analysis of the data of the customers, the majority of those submitting pre-orders for the Cybertruck are from the military or security forces. That's mainly because they want tough, long-lasting cars that are also quick. With a strong 3,500 pounds of payload capacity, the Cybertruck equals the traditional Ford F-150 in strength and power, ensuring that the user can take all of their requirements on a lengthy road trip without sacrificing the truck's speed or performance. Aside from that, the Cybertruck has a towing capability of 14,000 pounds, making it capable of carrying another truck on its back. Despite this, it has the ability to compete with a Porsche 911 one of the world's quickest sports cars, which can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 6.5 seconds. These qualities clearly make the Cybertruck quicker, or at least as fast as a Porsche, while also making it stronger than a Ford, making it the ideal vehicle for anyone looking for a fine balance of speed and power. The Cybertruck, as previously stated, can travel up to 500 miles in a single charge, but few people are aware that it also includes a 120-240 volt outlet that functions as a two-way connection that can not only draw energy from the charging slot, but can also deliver power to a whole house using the energy stored in its batteries. With its newest solar roof add-on, it can provide an almost limitless power source and even act as a green backup generator. As a result, it'll come in handy during blackouts caused by severe weather or any other apocalyptic event. Apart from that, Tesla appears to be employing a really clever marketing strategy, cashing in pop culture. That's correct. Its sharp edge design has a dystopian feel to it as if it sprang right out of the Mad Max series. The Cybertruck will be unveiled on November 21st, 2019, the same day as the legendary Blade Runner film. Launching merchandise and even holding carnivalesque events to market Tesla automobiles in Universal Studios LA, a popular vacation spot for both Americans and tourists. Elon is a frequent user of social media platforms, particularly Twitter, where he not only promotes his goods but also interacts with fans and followers. In response to their questions about the latest developments at Tesla, Musk shared a few spoilers about the upcoming designs, crack jokes discussed possible features that could be integrated into Tesla vehicles, 
and explain the science behind the features or the engineering difficulties if they couldn't be added on. Aside from these characteristics, Tesla's Cybertruck has a few other benefits that might give an edge over its competitors in the long term, one of which is a large charging network. More Tesla Mega Packs are in the process, either being made or being completed for deployment. As we detailed in depth in our earlier video on Tesla Energy on how Tesla Mega Packs are utilized as a transportable charging station, other electric truck or car owners will be confined to home charging slots or approved public charging slots, which may be hours distant from the area and especially difficult to access in an emergency. Tesla will have a greater reach and larger network with charging stations becoming more accessible, making Tesla automobiles the logical choice for purchasers. When it comes to batteries, Tesla is perhaps the only firm that has invested in the technology. That is, it's focused on building its own battery technology for its automobiles. Because Tesla has already received a lot of flack for frequent delays with some of its market products, it wants to be virtually independent of any third-party contractors for one of its main components. Despite this, it has used some ingenious tricks to help it outlive the competition during the worldwide chip scarcity. Nonetheless, Tesla is deliberately seeking total independence from any third-party actors by developing its own resources for battery manufacture, such as the establishment of the subsidiary Tesla Energy and the Megapack facility. This Megapack plant will be dedicated completely to producing Megapack battery storage devices that may be used for utility-level applications and as backup storage for whole-grid stations. While some of the factories that will be utilized to make batteries for Tesla cars may be uniquely specialized and require construction, such as the Megapack facility in California, which might take some time for Tesla. However, the gigafactories that create Tesla's Hallmark models are extensible, so facilities to make and assemble the Megapacks may be added until their own dedicated workspace is constructed. These factories are mostly fueled by renewable energy sources. Because of the money saved on producing expenses, Tesla may be able to offer subsidies and discounts to its consumers for charging and merchandise. According to the latest updates, Tesla has opted to stop collecting bookings for the Cybertruck in Europe and Asia instead of focusing on North America, where the vehicle is slated to arrive next year. In 2019, the Cybertruck was launched. The electric pickup truck was meant to be in production by now, but the manufacturer postponed it while focusing on increasing Model Y manufacturing. According to the company, the Cybertruck will begin manufacturing in 2023. Tesla is still taking bookings for the electric pickup truck in the meanwhile. Tesla CEO Elon Musk claimed that the Cybertruck reservation scheme was a huge success, with over 250,000 reservations received within a week of the vehicle's presence. Normally, Tesla obtains a large number of bookings soon after an introduction and later declines, but this was not the case with the Cybertruck. Sources told us that certain Tesla outlets were getting hundreds of Cybertruck reservations per week even during the epidemic, and that Cybertruck pre-orders even helped increase sales. The last time this statistics was updated was in June 2020 when it had increased to over 650,000 Cybertruck bookings. In May 2021, the Cybertruck Forum's crowdsourced reservation totaled to over 28,000 submissions placed reservations at over 1 million. The number of reservations has risen steadily over the previous year and it's now believed to be close to 1.5 million. According to Musk, Tesla has enough Cybertruck reservations that it'll not only deliver to reservation holders for the first three years of manufacturing. With that last piece of information, we've reached the end of today's video. We hope you liked our video. Please subscribe to our channel and remember to hit the like button, turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we release a new video, and share the video as far as possible because the more you know, the more you grow.